You must have noticed those lines on some kinds of chips. For one thing, they help with the distribution of spices and seasonings. In other words, all those substances that make your chips taste like cheese are mostly stored inside the lines. Plus, the lines make chips crunchier. Some cars have a tiny coffee cup sign on their dashboard. It's the vehicle's anti-drowsiness mechanism. There are manufacturers that equip their cars with a drowsiness detection system. It analyzes the speed, wheel angle, and lane deviations to figure out if it's time for the driver to take a break. If it is, the vehicle makes several audio signals and the coffee cup sign starts to flash. Some plastic milk containers have dents on their sides. These dents serve several purposes. For one thing, when milk spoils, this process usually causes swelling and high pressure buildup inside the container. That's when the dent comes in handy. It pops out and doesn't let the jug blow up. Plus, if you decide to freeze the milk, it will expand like any other liquid. And then again, the indentation will pop out and prevent the container from breaking inside your freezer. You might have wondered why jerry cans have three handles. It's a clever designer move. This way, if you carry the container alone, you can use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But if your friend wants to help you out, each of you can grab the side handle. The first jeans had a problem. Workers and miners, who were the original jeans wearers, put too much pressure on the poor piece of clothing. As a result, the seams couldn't withstand the stress and tore. Tiny metal studs were invented to prevent this from happening. Sticky notes come off relatively easily because their adhesive is spread out across the paper unevenly in small blobs. And only some of these blobs touch the surface of whatever you've stuck the note on. That's why when you unstick a post-it and attach it to something else, it still works until all the glue gets used or covered with dirt. Soda bottles are always filled in such a way that there's some space between the liquid and the cap. That's because soda contains carbon dioxide. It's a gas that can expand once a bottle is heated. If there's no gap in the bottle, it can break because of the pressure building inside. Also, when you open your drink, the gases go out in the form of bubbles and the drink is likely to overflow. The gap helps with this problem too. Dental floss is super useful for your teeth, but it might be rather hard to operate. It regularly slips out of your fingers and tangles. To avoid these problems, tear off a piece of dental floss and tie its two ends together. It'll be much easier to use and won't hurt your fingers. Now, about those horizontal lines on plastic bottles, they help hold bottles up. Some bottles are produced from soft plastic. Without the lines, they wouldn't keep their shape. Instead, they would twist easily or even break. The soft round part under a soda bottle cap keeps the carbonation from escaping. Without it, your pop would go flat in no time, probably even before you buy it. If you don't have anywhere to put a toothpick after using it, break off its flat end at the first groove and place it on the table. Now you can balance the used portion of your toothpick on the groove part so that it doesn't have to touch the table. You can also make a makeshift stand for disposable chopsticks. They have a sort of lump on one side. Break that lump off before you split the pair. Now, when you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Donuts are shaped like rings because otherwise they might get overdone at the edges but uncooked and gooey inside. With a hole in the center, both the outside and the inside get ready at the same time. Ever notice that layer of clear fluid in gel pens? It's called the ink follower or stopper fluid. The gel in such pens contains pigment particles dissolved in a polymer solution. The gel should be thick enough to keep the pigment particles suspended 
but also thin enough to flow first onto the ball and then the paper. The main task of the stopper fluid is to be a barrier to prevent the gel from evaporating or leaking out. Without this transparent fluid, your gel pen wouldn't function. The fluid always stays in one position and doesn't get dissolved with the gel. Neither does it move backward or flow out of the pen. Here's how you can protect your bank card from potential fraudsters. Use a marker and cover the last four digits. You can also use a sticker that's easy to remove and place it over the security code. Have you had a house guest that didn't use a coaster? Get a hairdryer and hold it a couple of inches away from the stain. Blow it on medium heat for a couple of minutes to evaporate the watermark. If a faded ring remains, mix equal amounts of vinegar and olive oil in a bowl. Wipe it onto the marked area and rub it in until the stain disappears. Then wipe it off. Don't waste time scrubbing the burnt stains off the bottom of a pan. Instead, fill it with water and add three tablespoons of salt. Let it sit overnight as the salt dissolves the burnt marks. And in the morning, pour the water out of the pan. This way, it will be much easier to scrub all that grease off. Picture this. You're on vacation and your shirt has become all crinkled inside the luggage. You need it tonight, but the hotel doesn't have an iron. Don't panic. Hang the shirt up in the bathroom. And while you relax in a hot shower, the heat and moisture will unwrinkle your shirt. It won't be perfect, but it will get much better without any effort. The football is on and it turns out you've run out of standard batteries. You can use a smaller battery instead that easily fits inside. Now take some aluminum foil and crunch it up. Fit it into the gap on the negative or flat end of the battery. All done! You can turn on the TV now. Once your flip-flops crack and the plug easily slips out of the hole, it's normally a sign that you need a new pair. But there's a way to extend their mileage. Push the plug back through the hole, then take a bread clip and attach it to the end. The clip will provide enough support for the plug to remain in place. You've received a package and the receipt is taped on. You've managed to detach it from the box, but how to separate the tape without ripping the paper? Hold both ends of the tape apart, and by pulling it slowly, the tape stretches and separates itself from the paper without tearing it apart. Ziploc bags are perfect to keep things dry, but it would be great if they were larger. Take two and turn one of them inside out. They can now connect and work as one large bag, big enough to protect a keyboard. There's no need to carry your keys in your hand when you go for a jog. Instead, put them inside your pocket, take a rubber band, then tie it around the pocket from the inside. This stops the keys from falling out. You've broken your key in the door. It's stuck. Great. Arranging for a locksmith could cost up to $100, but for a cheaper and quicker option, try using a hot glue stick. Heat the end with a lighter, and once it's warm enough to melt, push the glue into the keyhole. The melted glue will enter the available space covering part of the key. Once it cools, it compresses and gains a strong hold of the key's end. Now, just pull it out. If you need to siphon liquid through a hose and want to avoid using your mouth, put one end in the liquid and hold the other upwards with your thumb closing the top. Now shake up and down. This jiggle motion pushes liquid upwards a little each time. And once it reaches the top, lower the exit point and let gravity do the rest. You've left your keys locked inside the car. It's an older model with a roll-down window. You could get the coat hanger and begin the long process of finding the lock. Or use duct tape. Make about 20 two-foot-long strands. Stick them onto the window, allowing enough room for the tape to grab onto at the bottom. Then with a friend, take the ends of the tape, holding them together, and pull downwards. The force will allow the window to lower enough that you can unlock the door. While drilling long screws into hardwood, your old drill might not have enough power, leaving them only halfway in. Before the drill gives up, get a block of wax and scrape the edges of the screws with it. The wax works like a lubricant, melting as it gets warm and providing easy entry for the screw. You're out camping, but you didn't bring anything to light the barbecue. Take a small plastic bag that won't leak. Fill it up with water and close it tight, making a round bubble. Hold it over where you want to catch the light from the sun. The bag of water will work like a magnifying glass, starting up the barbecue, just as long as it's a sunny day. You've probably heard about life-saving laundry tricks that are said to make your clothes super clean and as good as they were on day one. What if those laundry tips are actually myths? I got three of them lined up for you. 
Shirts should be buttoned when you put them in the laundry. Is it true or not? This is a myth. You'd better keep zippers closed to keep their teeth from catching the fabric of other clothes. But fastening the buttons of a shirt can expand the button net and the button hole. In the long term, buttons will start slipping out of place. Washing clothes in hot water is the most effective way to clean them. Is this a myth or a fact? That's another laundry myth. You want to rid your clothes of germs, yet hot water alone won't be enough for this. Nowadays, many detergents can clean clothes in cold or warm water. You should remove stains from the face of the fabric. Is it true? Most people apply water and soap to the stain, starting from the front side of the fabric. But that's not the best option. A much better way is to start from the back. The stain can go deeper if you treat it from the front. Try to make the stain move up to the surface rather than push it inside. Listening to music is an effective tool for learning languages. Is it a myth or fact? It's a fact! Scientists say listening to a song and humming along can help you learn a language. Most people struggle to learn grammar, yet in our daily lives, we don't always follow grammar rules. Songs can help you pick up informal expressions. Scientists have also concluded that music can help you remember new words and add them to your vocabulary. Let me give you an example. It's from your first year at school. Yep, the alphabet song. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Either way, you might want to know these facts and myths about sleep. The longest someone went without sleep was 11 days. Do you think this is possible or is it an urban legend? This is a fact. Randy Gardner set the record for the longest amount of time a person went without sleep. It was an experiment carried out by Stanford sleep researcher Dr. William C. Demont. The doctor recorded and monitored Randy Gardner's sleep activity. Gardner managed to stay awake for 11 days and 25 minutes. Your body eventually gets used to getting less sleep. Myth or fact? It's a myth. There are many studies proving that your body and especially your brain can't get used to sleeping less. Have you noticed that after a few nights of insufficient sleep, you begin to feel groggier during the day? That's your body trying to adjust to not getting enough rest. Long-term sleep deprivation affects your daytime performance, focus, and decision-making. Many grown-ups need five or fewer hours of sleep. Can it be true? Well, this one's easy. It's a myth. Experts from the National Sleep Foundation recommend that the average adult sleeps seven to nine hours per night. Some people have a genetic mutation thanks to which they wake up refreshed after a short night's sleep, but such people are an exception. One in four million. The ability to fall asleep in any place and at any time means you're a good sleeper. What do you think? Myth or fact? It's a myth. A good sleeper gets a proper amount of sleep and has a regular sleep schedule. Cats spend two-thirds of their life asleep. Do you believe that? This will probably come as no surprise. It's a fact. How many of the facts and myths did you guess correctly? How many hidden features are there in your car that you have never heard of? Most cars these days have everything color-coded under their hoods. It makes it way easier to know what you need to supervise between services. Like the dipstick, the oil cap, or the coolant. You can even have a look at the brake and washer fluid. Anything else that's black or gray, just leave it to the mechanics. Ever seen a snowflake light on the dashboard of your car? It's not there to let you know the winter holidays are coming if that's what you're thinking. It's actually a sensor that indicates the exterior ambient temperature. It gets activated and pops up the light whenever there's a road warning due to a sharp drop in temperature. It may sometimes even come on with an audio warning or a message on your dashboard to warn you that the roads may be getting icy, so you can either adapt the speed or change to the appropriate tires if necessary. Most cars come with added features for the summertime too, like those neat sun visors. Yours might have an added bonus you might want to check out. We all know they twist to help the driver out when the sun is not shining from the front. But some of them can also extend, so they can provide shade to a larger area. 
If you figure out your sun visor doesn't extend, there's a simple solution though. Buy a sun visor extender. You can even find them online. They work by being attached to your existing sun visors or windows for better shade coverage and visibility. Let's find some hidden features at home. It's not rocket science, but there is a wrong way to make ice in the freezer. And that's because you're probably not using the ice cube tray correctly. They come with that particular shape because you need to fill the trays until there's a layer of water on the top. This layer will help remove the cubes faster from the tray because it will crack when twisted and leave each cube poking out. You can then grab them in no time and enjoy your drink. If you find that the heat on your oven is too high or you need to cook some delicate dishes that require more control over the temperature, there's an easy way to adjust that. The knobs on your oven should come with calibration screws on their backs. Pop out the plastic knob and adjust it to your preferences. Be sure to disconnect the oven from any energy source before doing it. Do you know what your stove and your car have in common? They both have hoods that you can open if you need to have a peek or if they need some cleaning. If you look closely at the top of your kitchen stove, you will see two hinges located on the back corners. You'll be able to easily lift it up and clean out all the grime that's been stuck in there. Ever wondered why glue doesn't stick to the inside of the bottle? The answer is a bit more complex, depending on the type of glue. But the simple response is, well, it doesn't have any air in there. PVA glue contains some molecules called polymers and water. When the glue is out, the water evaporates, leaving just the sticky polymers behind. Things are more or less the other way around with superglue. It has a chemical that solidifies as soon as it hits water vapors in the air. Did you know Microsoft Word has a feature that you can use for references and a bibliography? It's not only helpful for keeping track of everything, but it also automatically formats all the information accordingly. If you like to surround yourself with as many houseplants as possible, here's an easy way to figure out if they need watering. Stick your fingers into its soil. It should give you a better idea than simply looking at the plant surface. If you can reach two to three inches into the soil and feel it's dry, the plant most likely needs some hydration. However, this trick does tend to work better with smaller potted plants because of the limited depth. In any case, it's always best to research the plant's needs in terms of watering and sunlight before committing to a plant. And always be careful not to damage its roots. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.